Today I'm going to show you guys how to do your makeup so when you walk into that room, everyone's like, how is she so naturally gorgeous? She must not be wearing a lot of makeup, but in reality, we know nothing is as it seems and everything takes a little bit of effort. I don't know what happened, like last week I randomly woke up and I was like, I hate makeup, it icks me out. So I decided to start doing the most natural makeup I can possibly do. First of all, you need a good skin base. I have been using this lately. This is the Illuminating AOX Serum by Zo. Zo is medical grade skincare, so you know it doesn't really get better than that, but this is expensive. There are other things you can use. Just put on your favorite moisturizer. I just happen to be bougie right now and be using this because my mom owns a Medi Spa, so. I'm lucky enough to get 50% off on it. Number two, we're not trying to get old, honestly. I just passed my mid 20s and girl, 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 girl. I'm all for the sunscreen now. I use the famous Hailey Bieber sunscreen Ulta MD and I use the acne prone one because I struggled with acne for the longest time, basically my whole life. I mean, I still kind of struggle with it. My skin is pretty good as you can see, but when I get a breakout, I really get a breakout and it lasts me like six months. It's really freaking unfortunate. Honestly, my skin just heals really, really slow. I just recently started using this concealer by YSL and listen, I am not a dry concealer girl. I'm a glowy concealer girl all the way, but this dry concealer, I don't know why, it just looks so natural because it kind of looks like your skin's texture. It's like a very soft, blurring matte. As I was saying, I feel like I'm so grateful that I got my skin to this point at least because acne can really, really affect you so much and I totally understand that. And I can even feel like the PTSD when I get a random pimple. I'm like, no, like, I just remember how it felt to have that cystic pimple on your face and be like, everybody's looking at it. I was actually really close to going on Accutane and I ended up not because I got this cream from the doctor and it really, really helped me. If any of you guys struggle with acne, that cream is called Adapalene. So I place my concealer like this. I like to place a little bit around my nose too. It's like me uses the concealer as a whole foundation for my whole face. You can just leave it like that if you want, if you're trying to be really freaking natural. But if not, I like to go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow and just do like two little dots. I just find that this helps like blend in your concealer a little bit more because you know when you like put on concealer and then you have like a ring around your eye, I hate that because on natural days that can tend to happen. So that just helps like kind of like give like a blending effect to the cheek so it doesn't really look like you're wearing concealer just under your eyes. It basically still looks like skin. And this side with the pimples, honestly, I think like my motto with this makeup look is you're not trying to completely like erase all your flaws. You're just trying to like make them a little bit better. So honestly, with these kind of natural makeup looks, your pimples aren't gonna be like fully, fully gone. And if that bothers you, you can always turn them into freckles. But it's just about like enhancing your features rather than trying to like cover everything up. Like see, it still shows, but like that's okay with me. We don't need to be perfect, like no one's perfect. I've been in the mood where I just wanna like change something about how I look recently. So I really, really wanna change my hair, but I do not know what to do. I feel like I've had the same hair for so long and that's so uncalled for for me. I used to be the type of person that changes their hair like 24 seven. I dyed my hair purple and then I dyed my hair pink. So, you know I'm willing to do anything and I haven't done that in a bit. You can call that maturing, but I call that boring. So I'm actually gonna go to a wig shop today and just test out some new like hair colors and like haircuts because I'm this close to cutting my hair into a bob. Hopefully that will stop me actually. Hopefully it will convince me even more to do it. But yeah, if you wanna see that, I'm gonna be posting that on my TikTok. I post there every day, by the way. This is the palette I've been using recently for my bronzer. It's this random palette I found at Sephora. I was just walking there and I was like, I have never seen a palette like this. So I really wanna try it out because it has everything you need. It has like your warm tone bronzer, your cool tone, your concealer shades for like all occasions. Like if I'm tan, I can still use this palette. I don't have to like go buy a new concealer. And I don't know, there's something about it. It kind of just gives you like a natural glow finish, but it's not even glowy. I don't know what I'm saying. It's just good, okay? Also, I hate what I look like when my lips have foundation on it or concealer on it. We need to fix that immediately or I'm gonna hate this video. So I just use this brush. This brush is by Say. For the OGs, my OG YouTube subscribers that have been here for the past, what, three years now? I'm sorry for neglecting you. I'm so sorry. I feel like social media is just so different and wild. The world's so weird 
now it's just like everything's so fast you know what i mean like with tiktok and stuff i feel like everybody kind of got bored of youtube but like it's not right for me to say that because so many people still watch it it's really me just neglecting my channel and not coming back here and making more videos but i am here to stay now because i'm tired of doing like one minute pieces of content all the time and not being able to like share anything with you guys because it has to be quick and no one has the attention span but here on youtube i feel like everybody actually like is here to listen you know what i ain't sleeping on that anymore i am here to stay so comment below any videos you guys want to see okay i think like because i'm talking i'm kind of going overboard on my bronzer right now i definitely went a little overboard is it giving bella hadid is it giving snatched i think it is i think it is and i am so pale right now like I know when I feel ugly, it's because I'm probably paler than I usually am and my tan is completely gone. I am a summer pretty girl, not a winter pretty girl, but I'm trying to transition because listen, we can't be tan forever. Oh my God, why did I put so much bronzer on my forehead? I can't be summer pretty forever because I'm gonna be wrinkly if I keep tanning like this. So I gotta stop and I gotta learn to embrace my natural skin tone, which I did not know I had a problem with. If you ever make a mistake and put way too much product on, just go back in with like your foundation brush. This one from say i love this one and just like buff everything out even if i'm doing a no makeup makeup look i have to do nose contour so i take the cool tone bronzer and i go under my nose just right there to make a button effect drag that down this is like my essential step and then again go with the foundation brush and blend that in this is the westman atelier blush i bought it to try from sephora knowing i'm probably gonna return it because it was so expensive but i actually really like it it is so freaking pretty you know a girl can't justify spending $60 on a blush right now. I got more important things to spend my money on, like Coachella outfits. Okay, so the placement of your blush is so important. You take your blush and then you want to kind of like place it like you have a sunburn. More than like a professionally placed blush, if you know what I mean. Because that's what's going to make it look more natural. So you want to place it like here. And I feel like that's what determines a more natural look versus a not natural look for me at least. A little bit on the nose too. Okay, very light blush. You can add more if you want. Because this concealer is so dry, I always forget to set it. But I usually just go with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish and I set that. Anyways, speaking of Coachella, I'm going to Coachella with my mom, my sister, my boyfriend, my sister's boyfriend, two of my friends, and then one of my sister's friends. And we got a big house. We rented it out in the Coachella Valley. I'm so excited. It's a month away. I have no idea what I'm wearing. That's so unlike me like i need to figure it out asap but let me know if you want me to vlog it because i'm definitely gonna vlog it on tiktok but if you guys want a youtube video let me know i'll be really excited to do that there's so much prep that goes into it too so like if you want to see the prep side of things let me know that as well it's gonna be crazy and we're already invited to some really cool pre-parties so i want to like capture that too i'm not gonna lie to you i was a little bit disappointed about the lineup but you know what i think it's all about the vibes so as long as the vibes are good and we have fun, who really cares? I mean, I did spend $900 on it, but who really cares? Look how broken this is. This is like, my mom kills me every time I use this because it spills all over the house. It's such a cute color, I can't throw it away. For eyes, I go in with a brown liquid liner. This is so key, it has to be brown. You guys over compliment eyeliner sometimes. All you have to do is just do like, one line, just out like that, the same way that your eyelashes are going, and then do a little connection just like that. And it just looks like you elongated your last eyelash and I think it looks so pretty. And then I love to do inner corner. You just do like a very thin line, make sure it's not dramatic at all. It's so precise. So I had to do that off camera, but I don't know if you can see, that's how it looks. Very, very natural. Then eyelash color. This, this is the best eyelash color in the world. This is the Shiseido one and just watch this. I, I did curl them before this video because I literally looked like a troll without curling them. So it's not gonna be as dramatic of a difference, but still. look at that. I love this lash curler. And then I go with the Sky High by Maybelline. This is my new favorite mascara. I used to like just the plain lash sensational. I love that too. I usually like using a dark brown mascara for natural days, but I don't have that right now. So I'm just gonna use black, but I'm just gonna really focus on the ends and that gives you more of a cat eye. It kind of like drag it out. I always get mascara at the back of my eye. Look how long this mascara makes my eyelashes look. Like I'm shocked every single time. I like to put a little bit of bottom. Okay, what I also like to do, I kind of forgot about this step, is take like your cool tone bronzer or whatever, and honestly any bronzer works, and put it under your eyes, like just where your lash line is. I love just like smoking out my under eye, even for a natural look, because I feel like, I don't know, Kim Kardashian does it. 
and she inspired me to do it. Let's just be real. Gorge, gorge, not me calling myself gorge. I mean, as I should, you should call yourself gorge too. Oh, you know what's wrong with all this? I'm like, what is missing right now? I didn't do my eyebrows. Okay, this eyebrow gel, so underrated, so random. Like, Brand just sent it to me. It's by the brand Make from Revolve. It's like so random, but when I tell you, my brows don't move, especially with like a gel wand like this, that never happens. Like it is crispy, it is hard, it is stuck to my face. I actually really, really recommend this one. I really have to fix my eyebrows too. I have to like do all the stuff that makes me feel good because I haven't done it recently. My appointments are coming up, like my nails, they're four weeks grown up, but I mean, they look pretty goddamn good for four weeks grown up. That's on getting a Russian manicure. And I just like slide the hairs down like that. This is my favorite way to do natural lips and it's a lip stain. It's kind of like annoying and a hassle to put it on, but it's so worth it because it overlines your lips in the most natural way possible. I don't know what kind of like sorcery is in this and it lasts all day, which I usually have a problem with my lip stuff not lasting all day. I'm gonna look ridiculous by the way. I'm gonna literally have blue lips, but just trust the process. This is the definition of trusting the process. I look like I have a blue mustache. I won't lie, this will make your lips super dry, but beauty's pain. I will sacrifice that for a natural lip look. So I'll take a wet little tissue or if you have the spray, you can peel it off, but I don't. I'm just gonna wipe it off. Be ready to be impressed. Look at the color, I love it. That's how the lip color looks. It's kind of a little bit dark. I like they're like blended in a bit. My foundation brush, as I do with everything. It's like chill, it's a chill color. And I like how it just like doesn't look like lipstick or anything. I like to sometimes just line my lips a little bit. Depends if I'm trying to go super natural or if I'm trying to like glam it up a tiny bit. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in Endless Cacao. Actually insane. People are coming at me so hard on YouTube shorts about my botched lip filler. And I mean, I know it's migrated a little bit. People really have the audacity out here. Like they are going for my appearance. And I mean, I don't look perfect, but I promise you probably neither does anyone. <laughs> at the end of the day, I wanted bigger lips. My lips were like paper thin, like the type that you cannot even see. You wouldn't even be able to imagine how thin they were. And it's something I wanted to get done. So I did it. And honestly, I don't even have much lip filler. Like I have gotten maybe like three syringes over like the six years that I've gotten lip filler. The reality is that lip filler doesn't really dissolve that much on certain people, certain people being me. And it does tend to migrate sometimes. So I think the last time I got it done, it got a little bit like, I don't know, I didn't really like it as much. I just think people are really quick to judge sometimes. But not you guys, you guys are good. Okay, little lip oil sometimes because my lips get so dry from this. I'm not a glossy lip girl. So I just like to put the littlest bit on. I think we're on the last step. Well, I mean, you can do freckles if you want. That's like the next thing for like a natural no makeup makeup look. I feel like the lips aren't really giving no makeup, but. This is my version of natural. Okay guys, this is the final makeup look. I mean, I think it looks pretty natural and cute and it's nothing too crazy. But again, it's about accentuating your natural features instead of just trying to change everything. As you can see, like my pimples still show, but that's okay because we're just that confident and just that beautiful that we don't need to hide that stuff. And that's what I love about this makeup look. If you wanna keep up with everything that I talked about in this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't been here before and this is the first video you're watching, I make tons of fashion content beauty content and like little vlogs lifestyle stuff so if you're into that definitely hit the subscribe button because i'd love to have you comment down below first of all any coachella inspo you have for me because i am freaking lost to any hairstyles you think would look good on me and any wigs i should try today because i'm freaking excited and anything else let me know what you guys want to see on this channel and i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye